So good morning, girls. Uh, so come back uh, to our fresh lecture. So today uh, we are going to deal with mathematic mathematical rules to understand physics part two. So already I told you about part one. Now today we are going to deal with the mathematical rules in order to understand physics of uh, part two. Now this is a uh, more important. Now this is a uh, more uh, important uh, when compared to the previous video. In the previous video, uh, I have given some uh, mathematical tools on trigonometry, but this is more important one, a uh, very very important one, uh, because uh, this will be based on a uh, calculus. Uh, what we call differentiation and integration. So very very important uh, lecture we got today. So if you are thorough with this mathematical tools, uh, you will be also uh, very strong in physics. So uh, let us see the first thing that is what we call differentiation. So uh, now what do you mean by uh, differentiation? So under differentiation, uh, we got one formula. Now we write now d by dx of x power n will be numerically equal to we got n into x power n minus one. So remember this master formula. Now d by dx of x power n will be numerically equal to n into x power n minus 1. So, uh, for example, for example, now let us say I got now d by dx of x cube. Now let us say I got d by dx of x cube. So, d by dx of x cube can be written now 3 into x power 3 minus 1 or I can write now d by dx of x cube will be numerically equal to now what I get now 3 x square. Now similarly, now similarly uh, let us take now one more uh, uh, one more thing now let us say now what will be now d by dx of x squared now this will be numerically equal to 2 into x power 2 minus 1 or I can write now d by dx of x squared will be numerically equal to now what we get 2x now similarly if I make now d by dx of x now what will be now d by dx of x now very simple now you already know the power of x will be equal to 1 so according to the general formula now what I can write now 1 into x power 1 minus 1 so 1 minus 1 will become 0 so 1 into x power 0 and you already know now anything power 0 will always be equal to 1 or anything to the power 0 will always be equal to 1 that is the reason why now what we get now d by dx of x will be numerically equal to now anything power 0 will be equal to 1. So therefore now I can write now d by dx of x will be numerically equal to 1. Now same way if I remove uh, this part now same way now what I, <coughs> what I can write now same way now what I can write so d by dx of x will be numerically equal to 1 now same way I can write 
Now p by d y of y will also be equal to one. Similarly, now p by d z of z will also be equal to one. Similarly, now d by d t of t will also be equal to one. So remember, now this important formula. So d by d x of x will be numerically equal to one. Similarly, now d by d y of y will be numerically equal to one. D by d z of z will also be equal to one. And d by d t of t will also be equal to one. So remember, now here, now x, y, z, and t, they are generally called the variables. So remember, now in this formula, now x, y, z, and t are generally called the variables. So that will be. So the master uh, formula we got uh, for the differentiation. Now similarly, now if you are familiar uh, with this formula, now let us see now one more uh, important thing. Now that uh, will be generally called now differentiation of a constant. So what will be the differentiation? Of a constant, so always remember that the differentiation of constant will always be equal to zero. Or remember that the differentiation of any constant will always be equal to zero. So we need what? If I take an example, now let us say we got now d by d x. Now you already know the value of y three point one four. So the differentiation of y now y uh, being a constant, the value you know three point one four. So the differentiation of the constant uh, will always be equal to zero. Now similarly, if I take any other number, now let us say now d by d x of six. Now six uh, being a constant, so d by d x of six will also be equal to zero. So uh, now remember, so differentiation of any constant uh, will always be equal to zero. So remember now the important thing. So differentiation of any constant uh, will always be equal to zero. Now once uh, you are familiar uh, with this thing, now let us come to now one more uh, important uh, thing under differentiation. Now that uh, will be generally called the differentiation. Of e power x. Now remember, now d per d x of e power x will be numerically equal to e power x. So directly remember, now differentiation of e power x will be numerically equal to e power x. Now similarly, I might take the other example. Now what will be now d by d x of e power two x? Now remember now d by d x of e power two x will be numerically equal to e power two x. Now multiply by now d by d x of that two x. So remember now d by d x. Of e power two x will be numerically equal to now e power two x into d by d x of that two x. So into now d by d x of that two x. 
So therefore, now what we are going to get, so we get log p point a of p power 2x will be u into equal to log e power 2x. Now multiply by log 2 is a constant. You can take 2 outside and by differentiation uh, will always be done for the variable. So always remember that the differentiation uh, will always be done for the variable not take or 2 outside. So what I can write? Now 2 into d by dx of x. And you already know dot d by dx of x dot d by dx of x will be u equal to 1. So you already know dot d by dx of x will be equal to 1. So therefore, now what we get? So d by dx of e power 2x will be u equal to now what I am going to get, so d by dx of x will be equal to 1, so I get log 2 uh, multiplied by log e power 2x. Now that will be log the differentiation of e power 2x, that will be u equal equal to 2 into e power 2x. Now uh, similarly, uh, if I take uh, one more example, now similarly, uh, if I take now one more uh, example, now let us see now what will be now d by dx of e power 3x. So now uh, let us see now what will be now d by dx of e power 3x. Now remember now d by dx of e power 3x will be e power 3x. Now multiply by me. now d by dx of d into d by dx of 3x. So remember so differentiation of e power 3x will be numerically equal to e power 3x into d by dx of that 3x. So therefore, now what I am going to get? So I am going to get now d by dx of e power 3x will be numerically equal to now e power dx now multiplied by now 3 will be constant it can be taken outside so I can write now d by dx of x and you already know now d by dx of x will be numerically equal to 1 that's the reason why now I can write now d by dx of e power 3x will be numerically equal to now e power 3x now multiply by 3 or I can write now d by dx of e power 3x will be numerically equal to now what I get now 3 into e power 3x. So remember now that will be all the formula we got for the differentiation of e power 3x that will be numerically equal to the 3 into e power 3x. Similarly, uh, if I write uh, the same way, uh, if I take uh, one more if I take uh, one more example, now uh, if I write it, now what will be now d by dx of e power nx? So remember now d by dx now of e power nx will be numerically equal to now e power nx now multiplied by e. Now d by dx of that nx. Now this 
or can get further written so e by dx of e power nx will be numerically equal to now what I can write now e power nx now multiply by now n will be constant so I can take n outside now what I get now d by dx of x so d by dx of x will be numerically equal to 1 uh, that is the reason why now what I am getting so d by dx of e power nx will be numerically equal to now I get now e power nx now multiply by n now implies now d by dx of e power nx will be numerically equal to now n into e power nx. So remember here, now that is the or the formula we got for the differentiation of the exponential function now e or the we generally called the exponential function so d by dx of e power nx will be numerically equal to now n into e power nx now that will be now another uh, important formula we got now based on the differentiation concept then uh, similarly uh, if you come to now one more uh, important thing so uh, one more uh, important thing now uh, let us see now one more uh, important thing so uh, differentiation of uh, one more uh, important uh, thing so next we got now d by dx of sin x now uh, let us say now what will be the formula we got for that differentiation of sin x now remember now d by dx of sin x will be numerically equal to cos x so directly now remember the formula now d by dx of sin x will be numerically equal to cos x. Now similarly, uh, if I write now one more thing, so if I write now d by dx of sin, or let us say now d by dx of sin dx. So what will be now d by dx of sin dx? So d by dx of sin dx will be numerically equal to now cos dx now multiplied by now d by dx of that dx. So now d by dx of sin dx will be numerically equal to now cos dx into d by dx of that dx. So therefore, now what you are going to get? So therefore, now I can write now d by dx of sin dx will be numerically equal to you can write now cos dx now multiply by now p will be a constant can be taken outside so what I get now d by dx of that x and you already know now d by dx of x will be numerically equal to 1 that is the reason why now what you are going to get so d by dx of sin 3x will be numerically equal to now what you get now 3 cos 3x so what you are going to get so d by dx of sin 3x will be numerically equal to now 3 cos 3x now similarly now one more uh, thing I take 
divided by a reward will be not equal to a or sin 2x. So you already know not equal to a or sin 2x will be numerically equal to not cos 2x not multiplied by not equal to a or that 2x. So very simple dot differentiation of sine to x will be numerically equal to log cos to x into d by x of that to x. So therefore now what you are going to get so I can write log d by x of sine to x will be numerically equal to now what I get? So I get log cos 2x now multiplied by now 2 will be outside. So 2 will be outside now d by ax of that x now 2 will be a constant it can be taken outside. So you can write now 2 now multiplied by d by dx of x not d by dx of x will be numerically equal to 1. So therefore now what I get? So I get not d by dx of sin 2x will be numerically equal to now what I am going to get? Not 2 cos 2x. Now that will be uh, the formula we got or that will be the differentiation of sin 2x that will be numerically equal to log 2 cos 2x. Then uh, similarly uh, I can also write now so one more uh, important thing. Now uh, similarly now also I can write now one more uh, important thing now that will be now what will be now d by dx of sin uh, nx now remember this important formula now what will be the differentiation of sin nx so the differentiation of sin nx will be numerically equal to cos nx now multiplied by now d by dx of that nx now meaning what so what you are getting now d by dx of sin nx uh, will be numerically equal to now what we get now n will be a constant so I can write now cos nx now multiply by now n will be outside so what I get now d by dx of nx that will be equal to 1 so therefore now I can write now d by dx or the differentiation of sin nx or the differentiation of sin nx will be numerically equal to n cos nx. So remember now that will be so that will be of the differentiation we got of for sin nx. So the differentiation of sin nx or the numerically equal to now what we get now n cos nx. So that will be now another uh, important thing uh, you need to remember now regarding now uh, regarding uh, the sine function. Now that will be the differentiation we got uh, for the sine function. See, similarly, now remember now what will be now d what will be the differentiation of cos x or let us see now what will be the differentiation of the cos function now remember the differentiation 
of cos tangent will be numerically equal to minus sin x. So always remember to draw that differentiation of cos x will be numerically equal to log minus sin x. Now see in the now what I can write for example now what will be the differentiation of cos 2x so differentiation of cos 2x will be numerically equal to minus sin 2x now multiply by now d by d a of that 2x now this I can do further again so d by d a of cos 2x will be numerically equal to now what I get dot 2 will be constant so it can be taken outside so d by dx of x will be equal to 1 so what you get now minus 2 so we get now minus 2 sin 2x so now what you are going to get so d by dx of 2x so 2 will be constant so it can be taken outside now d by dx of x will be equal to 1 so what you are going to get now minus 2 sin 2x now that will be now differentiation of cos 2x now similarly now what will be the differentiation? Now similarly, now what will be the differentiation of cos and x? So you already know the differentiation of cos and x will be numerically equal to minus a uh, minus sin and x. So differentiation of cos and x will be numerically equal to now minus sin and x now multiplied by now d by dx of that and x. So therefore now what you are going to get so you are going to get now differentiation of cos and x will be numerically equal to now once again now what you can write now n will be constant it can be taken outside so d by dx of x will be numerically equal to 1 now you are already familiar now i need not elaborate so directly now what you do now take n outside so d by dx of x will be numerically equal to 1 that is the reason why now what we get now minus n sin nx so so what are we are going to get so our differentiation of cos nx uh, will be numerically equal to now minus n into sin nx so remember now that will be the differentiation of the board or that will be the differentiation of the board of for the sine function and as well for the cos function. So now uh, let us see now other uh, important thing. So now, uh, now once uh, you are familiar or once uh, you know all these concepts. So now uh, let us see now one more uh, important concept or one more uh, important thing. Now one more uh, very very important concept. Now let us see. Uh, okay. Uh, will be generally called integration. So one more a uh, very important mathematical tool to understand physics uh, will be generally called integration. 
So first we saw what was differentiation. Now we go on. Now another important tool to understand physics. Now that will be called integration. Now let us see. Now what are the different formulas we got, or what are the different uh, concepts we got now under the integration? So remember the first one. So remember the master formula. Now in now this is the symbol we got for the integral. Now integral. Or will be denoted by a long S. So remember the symbol for integration will be long S. Now remember this master formula. Or remember this master formula. Now integral of x power n dx will be numerically equal to x power n plus 1 not divided by n plus 1 so remember this master formula so integral of x power n dx will be numerically equal to now x power n plus 1 not divided by n plus 1 now let us see some very good a uh, simple example is now let us see I want to find now what will be now integral of x cube dx so what will be now integral of x cube dx that will be numerically equal to x power now here n will be numerically equal to 3 or the value of n So therefore, now what we get, so integral of x power 3 dx will be numerically equal to x power 3 plus 1 divided by 3 plus 1 or we can write now integral of x cube dx will be numerically equal to x power 4 not divided by 4. Similarly, now let us say I want now what will be now integral of x square dx. So what will be now what will be now integral of x square dx this will be numerically equal to now x power 2 plus 1 now divided by 2 plus 1 so integral of x square dx will be numerically equal to now x cube divided by 3 now similarly now what will be now integral x dx now what will be the formula we got for the integral of x dx now remember now here the power of x will be numerically equal to 1 or the power of x will be equal to 1 so according to master formula so what I can write now integral of x dx will be numerically equal to now x power 1 plus 1 now divided by 1 plus 1 implies now integral x dx will be numerically equal to now x square now divided by 2 so very simple to understand now remember the power of x will be equal to 1 that is the reason why now integral x dx will be numerically equal to now x power 1 plus 1 divided by 1 plus 1 so integral of x dx will be numerically equal to 
log x square or divided by 2. So remember that log x will be uh, the formula we got for the integral of x or dx. So now uh, if I take uh, one more uh, formula or if I take now one more uh, example now can anybody now tell me now what will be the integral of dx so now uh, can anybody now tell me now what will be the integral of dx or what will be the integration of dx so very simple now what you can do now integral of dx can also be written this way i can write now integral x power 0 into dx because you already know now anything power 0 will be numerically equal to 1 so you already know now anything power 0 will be numerically equal to 1 and will once again become now integral of dx so remember now integral of dx can be written in the standard form integral of x power 0 into dx now apply the general formula so according to general formula now the power of x will be 0 so what we get now x power 0 plus 1 now divided by 0 plus 1 now meaning what now integral of dx will be numerically equal to x divided by 1 now implies now integral of dx will be numerically equal to x so remember this important formula now integral of dx will always be equal to x or remember now integral of dx will be numerically equal to x now similarly uh, I can generalize the formula or similarly I can generalize the formula now same way now I can write it now similarly now integral of dy will be numerically equal to y similarly now integral of dz will be numerically equal to z now integral of dt will be numerically equal to t so remember so now I can generalize the formula and I can write now integral of dx will be equal to x similarly integral of dy will be numerically equal to y integral of dz will be equal to z integral of dt will be numerically equal to t so remember now that will be now another uh, important concept we got so under the integral then uh, similarly now once uh, you are not familiar now with this uh, integral or uh, once uh, you are not familiar uh, with this uh, formula so now uh, we got now another uh, important thing now that will be now integral of e power x dx now so far we have seen now what will be the differentiation of e power x so now uh, we are going to see now what will be the integral of e power x dx now remember the general formula integral of e power x dx will be numerically equal to e power x only so remember the standard formula so integral of e power x will be numerically equal to e power x only then 
important uh, formula we covered now based on an integral. So uh, it is one over so uh, important thing uh, you need to remember. So regarding the integral, uh, regarding the integration. Now uh, one more uh, important thing you remember. Now that will be called limits of integration. Now one more small thing uh, you remember. Now limits of integration. Now let us see now what do you mean by the limits of integration or what do you mean by not the limits of integration. So very simple. Now let us see you have been given now find the integral of x square dx. Now let us see a problem will be saying now find now integral of x square dx. Now let us say that here the lower limit will be a and the upper limit will be b. Now remember now a or will be generally called the lower limit. So a or will be generally called the lower limit and d or will be generally called the upper limit. So now remember if you are asked to find out, so if you are asked to find out now find now integral of x square dx with the lower limit will be a and the upper limit will be b. Now what do you do? Now in that case, now what do you do? Now first you find out now what will be the integral. Now first you find out now what will be the value of integral. So you already know now integral of x square dx will be p1 now by the formula now x power 2 plus 1 uh, so we are finding what will be now integral of x square dx from the lower limit b to the upper limit b so uh, you already know so you already uh, know the formula now integral of x square dx will be numerically equal to now x power 3 now divided by 3 and remember the lower limit will be a and the upper limit will be b now this can be further given now integral of x square dx from a to b will be numerically equal to now what do you do now whatever constant you got now take the constant outside so constant will be outside so in the bracket we got x cube from the lower limit a to the upper limit b now what we do in the place of x or in the place of x we substitute the upper limit minus the lower limit so remember now wherever you got x in the place of x now we substitute the upper limit minus the lower limit so therefore now what you get so integral of x square dx from a to b will be will be numerically equal to now what we get 1 by 3 by the place of x now substitute the upper limit that will be b cube minus the lower limit that will be a cube so that will be equal to now b cube minus a cube now divided by 3 now that is what we call the limits of integration so after performing the integral now wherever we got x now first substitute the upper 